Welcome to Electro Online, and here we're going to talk about the converging lens. The converging lens is made out of glass, and as we saw in the previous video, when light travels on the, across the boundary from air to glass, it bends or refracts, it changes direction. But when we look at the lens, you can see that the lens is shaped in a particular way. Now, this is called a converging lens because after rays go through a lens like this, when they come in out of parallel to one another and they go through the lens, they will converge to a single point. That's why they call this a converging lens. Diverging lenses are where the rays come in parallel when they go to the lens, they will move away from the lens, they move away from each other, so they diverge and that's called a diverging lens. So this is called a converging lens. The lenses come together after they travel through the lens, uh, to the lens parallel, go through the lens, and they come together to a single point. Where they come together is called the focal point. So all the energy, all the radiation that comes through the lens will be brought together to a single point. That's why we have a magnifying glass, which is basically a converging lens, and the sun rays go to the, to the, through the lens, and then they all converge to that single point. All that energy that's normally distributed over a large area of the lens will then come together, concentrate on a single point, and gets really hot there. You can actually burn holes through your newspaper by using the sunlight in a converging lens like that. The distance from the lens to the focal point is called the focal length. We typically use the capital F to indicate the distance to the focal point, called the focal length, and the focal point itself is usually denoted with a small f. Now how does it work? Why do the rays do that? Well notice that since the glass is bent like this, because it is indeed a converging lens, uh, you can see that when a ray hits the lens, like right there, and we draw a line perpendicular to the boundary, the light will bend towards the normal. See, the line perpendicular to the boundary is called the normal, and after the light goes through the lens, it bends towards the normal. So it, what we call, refracts. On the other side, you can see it, the light comes in, all these light beams are parallel, they hit the glass, here's the perpendicular or the normal to the surface, and after it goes through, the light will actually bend towards the normal. So the angle of incidence is greater than the angle of refraction, or the angle of refraction is smaller than the angle of incidence. Then the light reaches the other side of the lens. Again, you draw the boundary, and, and since you can see the, the way the lens is shaped, the normal now is elevated in a different direction. And you can see that here, relative to the um, normal, this is the angle relative to the normal, that's the angle of incidence, and the angle of refraction Notice when it goes from glass to air, it bends away from the normal. So instead of going straight like this, it actually bends some more in the same direction as before. That's because the angle of the lens is, is angled differently on the front side versus the back side of the lens. And because of that, it first bends towards the normal here. It here bends away from the normal, but it keeps bending it closer, or I should say the angle uh, relative to the horizontal becomes greater and greater and you can see that all the rays then will converge together into the single point and that's what we call a converging lens. Now it's converging lenses that enables to build telescopes and I'll show in the future videos how that's actually done but the principle here is really the refraction when when the light gets to the surface, it will bend towards the normal when it goes into the glass and away from the normal when it leaves the glass. But because of the shape of the glass, it causes the light to bend more and more and then comes together into the focal point. That's the key to lens making and that's the key to, for example, Galileo's telescope. When he discovered that lenses could actually make a telescope, and of course that wasn't his original design, uh, other people had uh, invented this, the telescope, but he was able to take that invention, shape two of these lenses. When you put two lenses together, you can actually make a telescope. And I'll show you how that works in the next video.